Good evening, Arizona. Thanks for being with us tonight. New concern over measles exposure in our state. A Gilbert pediatrician speaking out after someone exposed his cancer-stricken daughter to the measles at Phoenix Children's Hospital East Valley facility. We have team coverage tonight. Dennis Welch has what one lawmaker is doing to help inform parents about low vaccination rates. But first, Christina Estes has more about the exposure at East Valley Specialty and Urgent Care Center. Christina. Three-year-old Maggie Jacks came here for lab work after her latest round of chemotherapy. Her father says everything was fine until they got a call on Sunday. It was PCH telling them someone with measles was here at the same time as his daughter. There's the father side of me that is just f***ed off and angry and, and wanting to protect my family. Pediatrician Tim Jacks would love to immunize his daughter, but because she's battling leukemia, he says Maggie can't be vaccinated. Maggie's compromised immune system means she's at high risk of numerous illnesses. One of the best medical advancements in our lifetime is immunizations, and that has increased lifespan, it has increased health. Because of the exposure, Maggie had to get shots of the measles antibodies, which could provide temporary immunity. Her 10 month old brother, who's too young for the measles vaccine, also endured the shots. He certainly did not appreciate it. Now, this pediatrician who has never personally seen measles must prepare for what the county health department calls the most contagious disease on earth barging into his home. You know, we were looking forward to these two, three weeks because we were between phases of treatment. And so we were going to go up to the snow and have good, fun family outings. And now, wisdom for me dictates we don't do that because I'm not going to risk exposing anybody else. Dr. Jack says his kids will now spend the next three weeks at home. That's how long it could take for symptoms to appear. Reporting live from Mesa, I'm Christine Astis. Christine, thank you. At the Capitol, one lawmaker wants to take action to help educate parents who do not, who does and does not have a vaccination. A new bill would shed light on vaccination rates at schools. As Dennis Welch shows us, he hopes to prevent future outbreaks. Dennis. Yeah, Jamie, now health officials say that the measles outbreak here in Arizona has reached a critical point and they do expect it to grow. Now, one state lawmaker says it's time for the legislature to step up and protect Arizona school kids from future outbreaks. Now, already two more cases of the disease in Arizona were confirmed yesterday. And dozens of people may have been exposed to the virus this week at an East Valley Children's Hospital. With that in mind, Representative Eric Myers says leaders at the Capitol can't afford to stand by. Myers is backing legislation to give parents more health care information about their children's schools. That proposal requires all K-12 schools to publish the percentage of kids who have been vaccinated there. As one of only two doctors elected to the state capitol, Eric Meyer says the information can help parents decide which school they believe is safest for their kids. When a certain number of people in a population aren't immunized, it increases the risk for everyone for a significant outbreak. And we've started to see that now here in the state, where we're having outbreaks of measles and whooping cough that we used to never see. Now, the bill would also require those schools to post whether, that, whether or not they have a nurse on staff. And surprisingly, Mr. Myers says there are a lot of schools that don't. Now, Mr. Myers did rep introduce similar legislation like this last year, but it did not get much traction. Reporting live in the newsroom on political editor Dennis Welch, 3TV.